see if I'd have been playing Cinder's book, I'd have just thought I'm marrying Steve again, so... No. Oh, what? Oh, I'm not the one barging down the street, love. Tina, you all right? Get lost, David. Look at her, she's legless. Well, what if I am? You are minging. At least I'll be sober in the morning. Oh, I'm going to go after her. Uh, no, you're not. What? Is she going to get herself run over? And how is that your concern? David, you're with me now, not her. I can't just leave her to become roadkill. David, you go after her and I'll get my phone out and ring my ex. I mean it! Tina! What's the matter? Who says anything's the matter? Uh, you're drunk, you're all over the place. And that's a crime, is it? What are you, the, the booze police? Why do you go and raid Emily Bishops? He's got the sherry out. You're upset. What's up? Is it Jason? It's none of your business. Oh, it is, isn't it? What happened? You catch him with his pants down? Me and Jason have got nothing to do with you. You see, I knew it wasn't David, last. just go away! What do you think you're doing? I'm having a bath. What does it look like I'm doing? You've had too much to drink and you haven't even got a licence. Oh, my God, when have you become so boring? Why do you go and push your mum down the stairs? Or I'll go and score some pills for my dad. Oi! I'm not letting you drive. No? No. Watch me. Get out, ah! Miss! Ah! <laughs> Give me back. No way. You're not driving. When are you going to get the message? I don't want you anywhere near me. You made my skin crawl. Shut up. Well, if you don't like it, stop following me. Why do you do us all a favour and just drop dead? Give them back. Ah, get off! What'd you do that for? I told you, you're not driving. Come on, I'll take you off. Don't touch me! Just leave me alone. All right, love, thanks a lot. Now then, don't tell me that you've actually stopped shopping with the closing stores around you. Hey, I have had the best Christmas shop ever. You should see what I've got for Christmas Day. Shoes. Dress. I thought the whole point of buying Christmas presents was that you bought them for the book. Well, yeah, but you can't treat yourself every now and again, can't you? Every now and again. <laughs> I've got yours in here. I've got to go into Manchester at Dean's Gate. I'm now what you got me. I know, people. David, are you all right? Yeah, fine. Oh, it's not Emily. I'm going to be late. Just see if that Yule log's defrosted. Ryan's mum? He kissed Ryan's mum? How could he think that I'd never find out? I don't know what to say, love. How could he do that to me? Don't know. Ben? was meant to be my baptism partner. Joe, you know I don't even want a cop. Hey, of course you do. Unless, of course, you was only doing it to please Ben, in which case, I'll be disappointed. Cos to see you so fired up about something, something you really wanted to do, well, that made me proud. Yeah, but you don't believe in God. But I believe in you. And you see her, and she's the most beautiful girl in the world. I feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> right, so if we can practice the look. You look like you're in pain. Well, what kind of look do you want? Well, it's more... I won't mind wearing things like this all the time. It's very romantic. Ain't that the look I always do? No, yours was more... Oh, well, it wasn't. Not like you're constipated. That's the look you're doing. But you have to convey everything in this one look. The old scene turns on it. It's the look that says, Who are you, beautiful creature? I must have you. Da, 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 da. What do we reckon? That's the look. All set? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. You're gonna fall out with a boyfriend, but you're not gonna think about that, are you? No. What are you doing? Just checking I've got the camera. Yeah. Got it. Hi. Oh, hi, Molly. Hello. You're coming over later. What? Sophie's baptism party. Um. Oh, has Kevin not invited you? Kevin, you're hopeless. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot. 
Well, Molly, I hope you and Tyrone can come over in a couple of hours. We're just going off to the church now. Yeah, we'd love to. Won't miss it for the world. Great. All right. Well, we don't want to be late. See you later. See ya. Bye. Sophie! Wait for us. I never thought you was coming. Yeah, of course we are. Um, you always told me about Ben. Are you OK? No, not really. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, Ryan, I'm sorry about what I said about your mum. Forget about it, I have. Have you spoke to Ben? No, not really bothered either. I've got nothing to say to him. Never mind about Ben. Shan, he's meant to be my baptism partner. He's meant to hold my towel while I'm in the poo. But, well, I'll do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, come on, we're gonna be late. I'm coming. Oh, thank you. There you go. Oh, hiya. I've got him in. Good. Yeah. Do you know, if I hear Rudolph the fucking red nosed reindeer one more time, I shall pull my hair out. Yep, I hate Christmas. Oh, why so miserable? Just, um, Sally's invited me to Sophie's baptism party and it's awkward, isn't it? You're happy being in her living room, are you? Well, obviously I'd rather not go, but I've got to keep up appearances, haven't I? Yes, for the millionth time me and Kevin are over. Hey, I tried looking in town for baptism cards, but they're all for babies. To be honest, I don't get why she's doing it. Well, presumably because she believes in God. Well, I believe in God. Don't mean to say I'm going to chuck myself in a swimming pool for him, though, does it? Hey, now I've been thinking. Do you want me to bring a nice ham over on Boxing Day? Yeah, <clears throat> why not? There's more to this than a Sally inviting you over. What is it? It's just... Is this it? Does it not get any better than this? Life? That's what you make it, Molly. And from where I'm sitting, you're the lucky one. How'd you work that out? Well, you're young. You've still got your looks and your figure. You've got your own home. Husband who adores you. Some folk might say you've got everything. It's very festive. Red, black. Just above the knee. Very me. Oh, do you know that sounds lovely? Well, it's been a while since I treated myself and I've no man to buy for this year, so why not? Do you know, I do that. Justify buying things for myself by saying, if I had a man in my life, he'd buy it for me. It's rubbish, isn't it? Mm. We work hard, it's our money, and then we feel bad when we spend it on ourselves. Exactly. Oh, hang on. I hope this is who I think it is. Oh, yeah. Mr. Uh, not quite. My grandson, Nick. Oh. Hi, Nick. Hi, Graham. Oh, sweetheart, where are you? I'm in Manchester. Booked into a hotel for the night. Oh, darling, I've made up the spare room for you. I just need to clear my head, you know. I'll be around in the morning, OK? All right, whatever. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, my love. Your mother won't listen to me. And I'm sure you will see she is making a mistake. Okay, uh, well, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk about it then. All right, darling. Bye bye. Bye. <sighs> Another double, please. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> It's 66 years ago that I made the decision to accept Jesus into my life and be baptized. And as my relationship with God has become ever stronger, I've, I've realized that this is far more than a symbolic gesture. My prayer for you, Sophie, is that his guiding hand will always be upon you. And 
when you need it most, it will be there to support you. And I'd just like to tell you how honoured I am that you've asked me to speak today. You're about to embark on a wonderful journey. God bless you. Thank you, Emily, for those lovely words. Sophie, will you join me in the baptism pool? Shut up. He hasn't rang you. What? I'm guessing you ain't for someone he hasn't turned up. Well, you're a rubbish guessing then, aren't you? I'm sorry, uh, this fly you gave me is out of date. What? Well, that was the only reason I came in here. Sorry, you're gonna have to pay 6.50 for your drink. <sighs> Well, I'm not paying for it. I've only got a fiver enough to get me home. You have to pay for it. You've drunk half your drink. Well, I'm not paying for it. <sighs> Put it on my turn. Thank you, sir. No, it's all right. I don't even know you. Nick Tilsley. I don't accept drinks with strange blood. <laughs> don't worry about it. It was on the company plastic. I won't even notice it. It's just a drink. Tina. And I'm sorry for being such a cow. Want to talk about it? No. Look, um, thanks for the drink. But seriously, I've got a boyfriend. And if he was here, I'd have to buy him a drink as well. Look, I'm a sad, lonely guy drinking at the end of the bar. It's please, take pity on me. And allow me to buy you another incredibly overpriced drink. OK, just one more. Sophie, no need to be nervous. Do you have people in apart from Emily? Yeah, um, I've got my mum and my dad and my friends and, well, and my granddad. And is there anything that you'd like to say to them? Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, well, I just want to say thank you to my mum and my dad and tell them how much I love them. Um, and I know you don't really get why I'm doing this, but your support really, really means a lot. And especially my dad, because, well, when you talk about God, you, like, you call him Father. Well, there's loads of people that don't know what it's like to have a loving father, and they can't relate to it, but I can. And I know he loves me lots, and he'll love me no matter what. And he'll always be there for me. And, well, um, he's great. <laughs> right, Sophie. Are you ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Sophie, do you accept Jesus as your saviour? Yeah. <laughs> and have you committed your life to him? And let the water wash away your past sins. And may you be reborn in his love. Your new life starts here, Sophie. May God continue to shine his light upon you. And may you radiate his glory. Thank you. <laughs> Does she know the song? She knows it. Trouble won't be getting her to sing it, it'll be getting her to stop singing it. Liz, tell her about our Amy singing one, yeah? She's at it, non-stop. Do you know, I remember our girl, she was the innkeeper for the nativity of the Bessie Street Juniors. She practised her line for weeks, then made a complete sound ear of it. Bless her! <laughs> oh, there he is. Sean, where have you been? Where am I been? You were meant to be here 40 minutes ago. Ah, well, happen to me now, so don't get your knickers knotted. I'll get myself a drink and then I'll bob through. <laughs> <clears throat> Rebecca? I don't like his attitude. One rotten egg spoils an omelette. I know you're a little bit stressed. Stressed? Who's stressed? I'm not stressed. I'm well, ah. Don't get lippy with me. I'm all on it. I heard Josh swear again in the bath this morning. Yet another one Amy has taught him. How many times our Amy does not swear? 
Maybe a bath water or two up. But anyway, look, this is a dress rehearsal. Now, I know Sean's a bit of a liability, but he's willing. And don't you forget, this is for charity. Charitable heart, Claire. Theatricals, what they like. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know what else to do. I grabbed my coat and made a run for it, but the bull chased after me. <laughs> I mean, why would you grab your coat? Why would you grab your coat? I jumped over a wall and landed on some eggs. Oh, all right, miss. <laughs> so, you're successful then? I get by. Sorry, at home business. Family, you know, it's uh, family stuff. I got summoned by my gran. My mum's getting married to this bloke who's a waste of space and she wants me to make a sea sense. Mm. I just hate family sometimes. I've been back for ages, yes. Felt a bit guilty when my grand ran. So, here I am, putting it off to the morning, drinking, and chatting you up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've got, you got a boyfriend. Yeah, a boyfriend who's in town with his mates. Because they've had an argument. Oh dear. He's probably got his hand halfway up some girl's skirt. He's an idiot. Let's abuse that plastic of yours a bit more. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you already had one. Oh, Emily, it's beautiful. Mum, come and look at this. I was given this one at my christening. You often forget it's there, but it's surprising the amount of times it offers comfort just when you need it. Thank you, Sam. Oh, Emily, mm. that's beautiful. We bought Sophie a bracelet. You showed Emily your bracelet. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. And do you like a dress? Bought it specially. She's looking so grown up now, isn't she? she is. Mom! She is. <laughs> That's the great thing about Christmas, isn't it? All the food. <laughs> Not so funny when you weigh yourself at New Year, though. Oh, there's a way around that. <laughs> Don't weigh yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I've noticed. I'm too busy to invite me to this. Push him out, just admit it. It's not like that. Flaming well is. You're meant to be backing away from Sally, not swanning off for a weekend. We're supposed to be saving for our lives together. Kevin, together. I told you, I had Christmas shopping to get. I've got a family. I've got to do family things sometimes, you know. Even though I'd rather be doing something else with you. It's just leave it, okay? <laughs> This party's a right flop. The prince hasn't looked at me once. Well, he's looked at me. Well, he couldn't miss you. You look like a big top in that dress. Well, at least I've got a big top. And they're real. Ooh, they're not real. It... Oh, sorry. Looks like you're trying to smuggle a couple of orphans out of the country to Madonna. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Right, and you carry on with that until they've had enough. Right, then we move to Cindy's and the Prince. <sighs> You've got to know that you're the fittest girl in here. Please tell me your name. I can't. Then at least add me to your Facebook. I have to go. Then let me do just this one thing. Mm. Yeah, 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 and that's enough now. Yes, ha, 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 quit it! I will. What are you doing? What are you doing more like? That's not in the script. Actually, it is. He's meant to give her a peck, not check out her tonsils with his tongue. Work for me, John. And me? Yeah, well, um, I thought it added a lot to the scene. You kiss her like that again, Steve, and I don't care what it adds to the scene. Turkey won't be the only thing getting stuffed this Christmas. <laughs> I think we need to practice the kiss again. Hey, lady, you keep your hands off my husband or I'm going to shove these boots right up your ass. Oh. Uh-huh. <sighs> Has everything he ever said to me a lie? Of course Ooh. not. <laughs> Steady on. He really likes you. He stopped texting me. Oh. Well, what do you want him to? I don't know. And what about that memory stick I did for him? Our favourite songs. Keep it. I won't be able to listen to it without thinking of it. Smash it with a hammer. Found them. Don't be daft. I mean it, make you feel better. 
What if they held her down too long and she drowned? Oh, they know what they're doing. It was very moving, very spiritual. It's a very good camera. Mm. Oh, yeah, Kevin got me this. Isn't it good the way they can fix it up to telly? You know, in my day, you used to have to send them off to get them developed. And then chances were you'd get someone else's back. <laughs> oh, I love Blackpool, me. <laughs> That's not Blackpool. It's Paris. Oh, I've gone back too far. Oh, that was a week ago, but don't tell Carla because I pulled a sickie. <laughs> you went to Paris last weekend. Oh, it was so romantic. I mean, you've got to splash out every now and again, haven't you? Oh, how lovely. We had a trip down the Seine, didn't we? Moonlight. It was just like a film. I've never known Kevin get so amorous. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just uh, go somewhere else and just chill? That would be a big mistake for you, Naomi. Oh, why? Because you've got a boyfriend. Shh. I don't want to talk about him. Yeah, well, uh, neither do I. I should have done that. Well, I won't tell anyone. No, I'm sorry. I, I need to go. Oh, are you forgetting something, Cindy? Give me your number. No. Go on, I want to see you again. You, you can't, OK? That, that just can't happen. And you can find out more about Tina's mystery man by visiting itv.com slash Corrie. I've been sitting with this man just over there and you are a complete inspiration and your dedication is unbelievable. The Sun Military Awards are next.